Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those who are new here, welcome. My name is Anais and usually I make videos related to Kubernetes and the cloud native ecosystem. Now, in one of my very first videos, probably one of the most embarrassing videos, I talk about using microcades on Ubuntu. Microcades is a lightweight Kubernetes distribution. You can either run it locally on your local machine, like inside a VM, or as like a standalone thing if you're on Linux distribution of an operating system. Or you can also use it in your Raspberry Pis, as like Raspberry Pi cluster, or as well in production. Now, there are multiple different use cases. The amazing thing about microcades is they are add-on ecosystem. So basically, within the CNCF, right, we have the CNCF landscape. Let's put it here. There are lots of different projects. Now, those projects, some of them are very difficult to install. They take multiple different steps, right? And you have to go through the documentation and do like one step after the other after the other. You could summarize that in a script. So what microcades allows you to do is microcades and then enable and then you put the name of the add-on that you want to enable. So for example, microcades enable trivia operator. Then it just goes and runs the script and installs the trivia operator inside of your microcades cluster, for example. Now you can also install lots of different add-ons such as Helm to install other add-ons and the Argo CD is an add-on. There are lots and lots of add-ons. You can maybe find a list here. Just see, beautiful list of microcades add-ons. Um, and I thought, <laughs> well, I went ahead and I created an add-on for the Trivi operator. Well, more specifically, when we had Starboard in the open source ecosystem at Aqua before, before Starboard converted into the Trivi operator, which is a different story, completely different story, not, not this video. Um, <laughs> we, uh, I created an add-on in microcades. And now I changed that add-on into the Trivi operator. And it was a bit difficult to test add-ons on Mac. So I thought I'm gonna create a nice blog post on actually writing a microcades add-on on Mac. Now, this is the blog post. And here are the different steps of first installing multipass and microcades. So what basically happens? This is microcades, right? This is the microcades site. Microcades you can run. Um, you can install on Linux, Windows, Mac. Um, they have a really nice installation guide, for example, on Mac. The thing is, and maybe some other people struggle with that as well. I didn't manage really to run microcades on Mac. It worked and then all of a sudden it didn't work. And how I fixed it is I installed Multipass separately first before I installed microcades. So I moved everything related to multipass and microcades from my machine. I installed multipass first and then microcades. And that's first detailed in my blog post. Um, so here is how you can install it, the different commands, if you're interested. It's all in the description because the next part of the video is gonna focus solely on the add-ons. So you can find like all of the different steps and then you can use and run microcades. If you don't want to follow the installation guide, I would highly suggest you to just first install Multipass separately and then follow the installation guide on how to install microcades. That is a lot easier. Now, if you are on Linux, uh, on Windows or Mac, you will run a VM for Multipass. Multipass is the virtual machine that microcades runs in. If you're on Linux distribution, it can run natively on your machine without a VM. Now, I have microcades. My Kids installed. And if I say microcades status, I can see whether or not it's running properly. So as you can see, I have microcades running. It's not high availability. And here are the different add-ons. So microcades has this add-on ecosystem, right? And the add-ons are ultimately in the microcades community repository, microcades community add-ons repository. Here are the add-ons. So Going to the add-ons, I can see all of the different community add-ons that are maintained by the community. So here's still the Starboard add-on, but I'm going to change it to the Trivia Operator, right? So we have that. And then if you want to create an add-on, what you basically do is, in short, you create an enable script, a disable script. The enable script just basically states how to install the Helm chart properly. The disable script removes everything related that to that add-on that got installed in your cluster. Once you have both, 
you can go to the root and you can add it to the add-ons YAML. You need to add like a section here that also specifies in which architecture it can run um, and just the version installed and so on and so forth. Now, lastly, you need a unit test for your add-on as well. And this is all the script here in the hacking.md file, in the markdown file. It's all described on how to create an add-on. Or for example, I based the trivia operator add-on on the Argo CD add-on. So once you have this, right, once you have it written, you have to test it. And that's what I'm ultimately going to show you to do. Now, first we have MicroKids running. And then um, if you have multipass, that means you have multipass running as run, well, ideally. So multipass list will give you all of your virtual machines in that case. Now I have a deleted one, the demo one, then I have my MicroKids virtual machine and my test one that stopped. So if you want to remove any of the deleted ones, deleted VMs, you have to say multipass purge. And then if you can, you can say again, multipass list and you will only see your existing ones. So the purge command will not remove all of the VMs. It will just remove the ones that you already deleted. So when you look at MicroKit status, you will see the status again. Um, now, the first thing is that there are different channels for microcades and the different channels are basically different installation options. Um, now we have to change the channel that we're using to the edge one because so here's the thing. Let's start from the beginning. If I say multi pass uh, list, right? I see my VMs. Now I have to go into the VM to add my add on. The thing is, if I'm on the stable version, I don't see the add-ons in the stable one. I only see it in the edge version, in the edge channel. So what I have to do is I have to go into the MicroKids VM and I can do that for multipass the shell command, just going in there. And then in here, I have to change the channel that I'm using from stable to edge. So I'm gonna go sudo sum to become root admin and then I'm going to change the channel that I'm using by refreshing it here snap refresh microkids channel 1.25 edge and now it's changing from stable to the edge channel and I need it so I have access to all of the add-ons so exiting it let's see if microkids is running right now already okay so it's running. So we can go again into our VM, right? And then become sudo again. And now we should have an add-ons folder. And the add-ons folder is in the following path. So entering this path, I can see now all of the add-ons, all of them, different ones. Now the thing is, with the different add-ons, um, I want to add Trivi. Now I've already added Trivi. So let's remove um, Trivi, right? And let's add Trivi again. So what I'm gonna do now in this folder, I want to create a new add-on, right? So I'm on my add-on, I want to add it into that folder. Now, um, the main thing is copy pasting files over. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to first create the folder, Trivi. Now I have it again, right? I removed it and um, Trivi right now is empty. So what we want to do now is in Trivi, we're going to create a disable script and an enable script, right? So I like to use Nano for that. And into Nano, I'm going to now copy everything that I've done in the PR to uh, basically at Trivi, right? So all of this, right? This is the disable script. So we're going to take the disable script and we're going to put that into that file, right? And then we're going to save it, the disable script. And now we need an enable script. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to copy paste things over, but 
here that's a bit not from here let's not use this one instead I'm just gonna use um, the file that I've actually created um, <laughs> for the PR so I'm just gonna copy this and I'm gonna put that into my microkids enable script right so that's all I'm gonna do okay so now we have the script here nicely in there and now I have to make both of these files executable that's like the next thing right so that they can actually be run so the script can be run that's the next part so and now what I need to go do is cd into is a core yeah and in core I need to open the add-ons yaml file right to add my scripts there so the next part so for that now I'm using vim because I just like using vim for any edits and nano for creating files so here I've already added Trivi from early right I'm just showing you every step that I did so here's Trivi um, everything I showed you basically that you have to add into the add-ons yaml file um, so how you would edit it is you would press I and then you can make edits and then you can press exit and write crit and it's saved and that's it right if you're new to them I highly suggest you to get started now once we have all of this right microkids should have access to Trivi so we're gonna exit the VM and now we're gonna say microkids status again it's gonna load all of the scripts and there's Trivi and now we can say microkids enable Trivi and it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna run the script that we just put into that folder right inside of the VM the thing is everything that microkids needs is packed inside that VM right so now here's Trivi installed in my microkids cluster I can open my cluster through K9S so you know I love K9S and here's the Trivi system namespace the pods and here's my pod running now for the Trivi operator now I'm gonna go into Helm look for Helm and here's Helm the Trivi operator 0 0.2.0 deployed 22 seconds ago as you can see microkids did that nobody else did it so now we can exit it um, well actually let me show you so Trivi the Trivi operator in your class now if you're new to Trivi Trivi runs security scans security scanning for mainly through the CLI but the operator the Trivi operator is a standalone project uh, that uses Trivi and other tools under the hood to run security scans for example it will run vulnerability scans of anything that's within your cluster now I don't have anything deployed in this class yet that's why you can't see vulnerability reports yet but basically scan any running pod in your cluster for vulnerabilities that's what the trivia operator does um, which is super handy you can just have it in the background running in your cluster check it periodically for example for K9S and you can see all of the reports I'm gonna blend in like a screenshot here where you can see how that looks like um, now that we have all of it installed we want to also disable microkids, right? So microkids disable, and this is just gonna oh disable Trivi, and it's just gonna remove the Helm chart from um, that repository uh, from that Kubernetes cluster, right? So microkids just remove Trivi completely. Now I'm mentioning Helm here because for the installation of Trivi I just used Helm because it's the most straightforward and it allows you to modify values um, for your installation for microkids as well you don't have to use Helm for the enable and disable script but it's very straightforward to do that now there are other add-ons that don't use the Helm chart for the 
installation but uh, you could do that that's how I did it like always I really hope this video was useful if it was I would highly appreciate if you could give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos I post these kind of tutorials on a weekly basis I also have a weekly DevOps newsletter where I share a curated list of great content from amazing people such as yourself from amazing people from across the space on a weekly basis to your inbox check that out linked in the description also, I have a Slack channel where you can drop in, ask questions, see a feed kind of like one by one whenever I find something interesting. I post, I post it there in the channel. Any tweets and blog posts and YouTube videos, anything I come across really related to DevOps and Kubernetes and cloud native technologies. Um, so do check that out as well. Link in the description. I hope to see one of my upcoming videos. Have an amazing day. Bye bye.